Much is said about impartiality, isn't it? Some even call it the gold standard for the BBC. But that's been brought seriously into question today because the corporation has admitted to launching a biased attack on GB News and said that its Newsnight programme breached its own editorial standards. So the programme, which focused on some of the comments made by Lawrence Fox on Dan Wilson tonight, received multiple complaints from outraged members of the public who claimed that the debate was one-sided. We had MP Philip Davies, didn't we? Says that he received many complaints from his constituents in Shipley. He's now referred the matter to Ofcom, which is the media watchdog. Joining me now is the spokesperson for the Free Speech Union, it's Benjamin Jones. Benjamin, thank you very, very much. Great to have you on the show. So the BBC decided that something that happened here at GB News was in the best interest of the nation to be beamed out there on Newsnight. And in order to do that, they basically got three people, unquestionably a presenter, who all had the same view and tried to give us an absolute kicking. And shock horror, it turned out that that might have broken the rules. Well, what's even more extraordinary about it is that the BBC has now taken one month to admit what was perfectly obvious to anybody who saw the original segment that you've just described. Uh, it was completely transparent that the, the panel was biased, that it was not impartial by any stretch of the imagination. But anyone who's gone through the process of trying to get the BBC to admit wrongdoing or to go through the BBC complaints process knows it's like getting blood from a stone. Uh, but in this case, at least they have finally admitted that that panel should not have gone out in that form. Mm. But it's not just that, is it? I mean, the BBC's in hot water generally. I mean, we're, we're, we're nosing it on this right now because this is the kind of announcement today that the BBC has, through gritted teeth, been forced to admit bias. Can I just say, I cannot understand for the life of me how this was allowed to happen. If you're going to give someone an absolute kicking, if you're going to give us an absolute kicking, at least make sure that you balance that. Because otherwise, it's a massive own goal. It's a huge own goal. They've walked straight into it. They've wandered straight into it. I thought it was fabulous PR for us, by the way. So thank you very much, everybody at New Broadcasting House. You've done us an absolute solid there. But the BBC is now admitted bias. But they're not just in hot water over this. It's over things like Hamas. It's over left-wing bias in general. I did a segment on them yesterday. They've put out on Newsround, which is basically a news website for kids, stories about white privilege, presenting that as fact. What's wrong at the beat? Well, it's no wonder people are getting sick of it and no wonder that the BBC is threatened by the growth of GB News and by its success, uh, as in today's announcement just now. Uh, but there was that phrase used, wasn't there, about disrupting the broadcast ecology mm. and that GB News was uh, uh, upsetting this balance. Well, good on GB News for doing it because GB News represents many, many hundreds of thousands, millions of viewers, uh, people, voters across the country. His views are not represented either in politics by mainstream political parties or by the legacy media. So it's absolutely right that in any natural system, uh, things have to evolve, adapt and change. And that's what the old media has to contend with and it needs to do a lot better. And the BBC really has, I think, deserved the kicking it's got over the last few weeks for its reporting uh, and the misinformation that it has been distributing, particularly with respect to the bombing of the hospital in Gaza, which it attributed, of course, to Israel, uh, a, a theory that has been quickly and comprehensively debunked. So we need GB News and other new media outlets to be challenging the legacy media. But the other point that I think that was really important from that particular story about the hospital was the importance of social media in revealing to people what is actually going on. You can see the open source intelligence community, for instance, on Twitter, or X as it now is, uh, very quickly establishing and corroborating reports or debunking. Oh, there we go. That's fair enough. We were bringing it to a close. Anyway, I was Benjamin Jones of the Free Speech Union. Look, the BBC is copying it at the moment. For what it's worth, the BBC can genuinely provide... You know, a good service on certain things. But for me, I just don't really think they understand and recognise their own bias. You, know, you have to look through iPlayer and you can just see that everything appears to be done, as far as I can tell, from some kind of centre-left or rabidly left standard. Uh, every single thing appears to be quite easily spun. And certainly that news round article that we were talking about yesterday about presenting white privilege as facts is presented to children. And, you know, when you've got six-year-olds and seven-year-olds maybe logging onto a news website for the first time in their lives and looking at it, they, they, they don't look at things critically. They don't analyse things critically. And I personally find that to be quite concerning. GBviews at gbnews.com.